And I, you said you do know a person named Jeffrey Willis? Yes. And, and how is it that you know Mr. Willis? Ex-husband. And how long were you and Mr. Willis married? 13 years. And did you know each other longer than that? Yes, five years before that. So a total of 18 years, essentially. Correct. Okay. Photograph. Mm -hmm. uh, first and foremost, do you recognize the needles? Yes. Uh, and do you recognize that bottle? Yes, that is my insulin hemolog. Okay. And uh, that orange cap, that large orange cap. That covers the plunger of the syringe. Okay. Now, do you know of any reason why uh, your ex-husband would keep four syringes, four of your syringes, and a bottle of your insulin in a safe in, a, in the van? No, the insulin needs to be refrigerated. Okay. Uh, on that note, uh, during the, the course of your treatment, mm -hmm. did you ever attend any classes on how to dispense or how to properly dispense the insulin in the proper dosage? Yes. Uh, just describe that for the jury, would you please? Um, those classes we were given a diagram of the appropriate places to put the pump. Before the pump, um, the places were usually the same for the injections. It was just a diagram of a person front and back. Um, we, uh, they discussed the best area to put the insulin that was the most absorbent. Had you ever seen that toolbox before? No. The only uh, toolbox I saw was a red one. A red one? A red one, and it had a bumper sticker on it from Florida. Okay. So you've never seen this one? No. How about the uh, this safe? You ever seen that before? No. No. Were you aware at all, or did you monitor at all, any financial transactions your ex-husband would have done on sites like eBay? No. I mean... Were you that, and I, and I don't mean this very, I don't mean this disrespectful. Mm -hmm. uh, were you that type of person or wife that kind of made sure you kind of knew what was going on, or, or not? No. Why? He handled the finances. I would give him five hundred dollar check a month, and he would put it towards the bills. He had his own passwords for his accounts. Okay. Your, um, what were your interests? church. Uh, I taught a Sunday school class. Uh, I taught a teen girl class. I taught women to sew. I had craft Saturdays where I would go to um, craft at church with, with a bunch of ladies. Uh, I, the Wednesday night was sewing. Sunday was church. That kind of stuff. Did, as a result of the activities you were involved in, did that cause you to be out of town? Yes. I mean, how often would you say you, you, would, you would be out of town? Uh, once a year I went with the um, teen group. Um, the particular year we went to Grand Traverse, um, the Wolf Lodge, with the teen girls, and that was when the kidnapping occurred. So... Uh, Okay, so the weekend of April 16th, 2016, were you in town that weekend? No. Did, uh, you mentioned that you, you taught Sunday school. Did, did your ex-husband ever teach with you? No. Uh, did he, did he, I mean, I... He did not attend okay. regularly. Uh, my question was, you sound like a person that attended church on a regular basis. Yes. Every Sunday. Is that true? Yes. Uh, did your ex-husband go with you? No, on special occasions, once in a while. Okay. Did you uh, did you have any idea uh, that your ex-husband was into uh, the dark web? No. Pornography. Not the dark stuff. No. Okay. Let me ask you this: Were you aware that your your ex-husband had a registered handgun? One, yes. Okay. You know what kind? Are you a gun person? No. You indicated the last five or six years the relationship was essentially you went your way, your ex-husband went the other way. Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. Uh, what, were there open lines of communication between the two of you? No. Uh, did, did you really know exactly what 
he was doing or, or not doing uh, at all? No. Uh, and I'm assuming he really didn't participate or take part in what you were doing over nope. the last five, six years. Is that safe to say? Yes. At some point in time, uh, police get involved in 2016 mm -hmm. and your ex-husband gets arrested. Do you remember that? Yes. Now, do you recall uh, receiving a letter from him shortly after that? Yes. And uh, what was the contents of the letter? What was it referencing? It was referencing what, what he had been doing the day Rebecca Blatch had been shot and what I remembered or what he intended me to remember. Okay. And it why, felt like he was planting memories. And why do you say that? Because it was on a Sunday, and I have a schedule on Sundays. Okay. At the time, was Sunday school, 9.30 to 9.45 was when it started. Church at 11, lunch between 12 and 12.30 with family and friends from church. And then when I got home, a nap. And I napped until it was time for to get him ready for work. Now, there was, was there any reference in that letter about clothing? Yes, he said that um, he went to work with a dirty shirt. And... What can you tell me? What can you tell the jury about that? Uh, that was not something he would have accepted. Were you the person that normally did the laundry? Yes, I did the laundry, and it had to be done. 